We took a 2,500 square foot house and basically now have about a 4,500 square foot house. And we added on a great room, we added on um, our master bedroom, and we added on a garage, and um, then we completely redid the inside. When we went through our last remodeling phase, we put in a new master bedroom suite, and it's totally my woman cave. I love it to death. <laughs> And um, I love it too because it's open to the backyard and our house is an, kind of an indoor-outdoor house. That's the way I describe it and it's at its best in the summer when we can go in and out. The house sits on two and a half acres and when we initially looked at the property we fell in love with it because it backs up to the Highline Canal, has direct access and so we can go out and walk on the canal. So our backyard is kind of a, a play area for us and we have a hot tub um, that's sort of a built-in hot tub and um, then we created a covered patio and an outdoor kitchen and an outdoor entertaining space, a fire pit and there's a water feature that's a fountain that is really fun, has colored lights and it's very fun. We also have um, our playhouse that we bought in a charity auction actually it was really fun and we lifted it in over everything so that was quite exciting. We have a horse barn that has been renovated and made into a really nice guest space. We just, we love being outside. My favorite part of the house is the great room, this great room, and I love it because this is the room we live in all the time. Um, and I love that the kitchen is part of it so that I don't feel like I'm off in the kitchen doing things, but we just live and gather in this room. And I love that it's open. I love that it's airy. I love that it feels like it's kind of outside. We just, we do life here. I love this room. We have had the privilege of working with the city of Littleton um, several times over the years during our different stages of remodeling. We've had nothing but uh, good interaction with them. And we love being part of Littleton. We bought this house because we saw the potential in it and we purposely looked for property that we could redo and we purposely did look in Littleton because we love Littleton. It would have definitely been probably cheaper and easier to scrape the whole thing and start over. Um, but we loved the sense of history that the house had and the fact that it had deep Littleton roots and um, we feel like we have something really unique and different and really special. Well, when we first discovered Old Town Littleton, we, I became obsessed with it <laughs> and I had to live here and we started a house search and it went on for about a year and looked at all different kinds and this house was built in about 1953, 1954. It was originally a flat roof ranch. California Contemporary was the style. Uh, however, it was not attractive. <laughs> and so we did see the potential by walking in the house and, and how open and, and how much lighting and glass it had and knew that we could, could create what we were really looking for and that was authentic little tin, old town feel with the old uh, bungalows and uh, Denver squares and so we went around and picked out little pieces and, of architecture that we loved the most about Littleton and put it together and our wonderful architect who's local here in Littleton created this house. The first floor is originally 1,200 square feet and it was two bedrooms and one and a half baths and we did need more space and so we chose to do a pop top and a pop top is literally making the roof go up and, and adding whatever space you need on the second level and added another thousand square feet so it has two full bedrooms with two full baths upstairs and very spacious and, and light. Um, we chose to do a pop top versus expanding on the property because it has a nice big yard and we didn't really want to lose yard space and we wanted it to look like a, a little bungalow or cottage house. This particular house was interesting because it truly was so flat that they could just build right on top. <laughs> so they didn't even need to remove the roof. We just literally built the second floor right on top. This part of the house, um, which is the living room in the afternoon, gets 
fabulous western light. So that's probably one of my favorite places in the afternoon, along with the front bedroom, which is just surrounded with windows and it feels like a sunroom in there all day long. And then probably the second favorite part is, is the library room because that gets the morning light. I tend to follow the sunlight, <laughs> which this house you know, is perfect for that because there's lots and lots of windows. We probably could have looked for a house that, that met all of the needs that we were looking for. Um, I like creating. Just being able to have your, your hand in it and part of the creative process, that's, that's sort of what gets me excited about things with houses and, and constantly. I mean, this house has already gone through multiple paint colors and rearrangements of furniture. Working with the city was so easy. They were great. They were coming by and just, you know, checking out the progress and saying, this looks so good, this is so exciting. Thank you for putting, you know, your, your vision into this Littleton and this house and all that. Um, it was great, it was so easy. We lived in Littleton, but we lived farther over on the west side. And we were coming across town and drove through Main Street and I'm like, what is this? Where are we? My husband looked at me like we were like I was nuts and said, um, Littleton? Like, oh no, no, we live in Littleton. I want to live here. And I just like the feeling of being in a small town. Or, I mean, it feels like a community in a small town and it's walking distance to everywhere. It's the perfect, I think, perfect place to build a family and be able to explore and, ex and experience that community feeling, but still be, you know, in a metro area. Purchased it in August of 2003, and uh, it was just a flat roofed bungalow, and it needed a bunch of work, had some leaks in the roof and stuff. But it was in a great location. Karen, uh, at the time, was working for a little public schools and did not know it at the time, but ended up two years later working at ESC, just down the street. Well, after you live in it for a while, you start to see the potential, especially the location, Stern Park, the lot itself, uh, the privacy of the lot and the views. The potential view is walking around the flat roof. We talked about it, so I, then I started drawing up some designs and uh, Karen said, wow, this would be great. So we started to really get serious and I drew up the plans for the whole house and it was with the second story as we have now and then we proceeded from there. I love to create stuff. We were going to do a straightforward staircase and uh, I talked to Karen and I like to do challenges. So he said, let's do a little pizzazz and do a curve. And she said, she looked at me, you can do that? And I said, yeah. So we did the curved staircase, which I really like. And above it, we have the skylight switch. You know, those add a lot to the house, I think. I enjoy doing tile work and be creative with that. And we did all the bathroom tile work and um, that was fun doing that too. Laid all the glass block, all the tile, designed the whole bathroom. We did the whole bathroom ourselves, the floor, everything. Radiant heat was a challenge to put in, but Karen and I did almost all of the work ourselves, putting in all the tubing. We did a warm board type system and we put it all in ourselves. And then we hired the, the mechanical people, A and B, to do the guts, the copper work, and the boiler installation. And they did that for us and they did a great job. I would have to say the whole house because the views, the privacy feeling, the quietness because of how we did the house with radiant and floor heat, it's just comfortable, very comfortable. I'd say the whole house for both of us. She loves the openness of the kitchen and, and the capability of walking anywhere in the kitchen with ease and two people can be in there and it's not a problem. The front deck uh, is great in the spring, summer and fall because we can see sit out there and see, uh, before the leaves come out too much, Mount Evans, and we always have a view of Long's Peak, and of course, Stearns Park is right there. Uh, the city of Littleton, in my estimation, I knew some of the guys before, and I think they're great. And, and I think we failed on a couple little items on our inspection, but almost everything passed the first time, except a couple electrical items. But that, that happens, and they know me really well. I went through the proper procedures of an engineer for the foundation, but I've done it so many times because I was previously a builder. It was a piece of cake. My husband David is an architect. He designed the home. My husband would probably describe it as probably the hardest thing he's ever done because he had to design it for us. And he said anytime you have to design for um, your own self, it, it makes it more difficult. 
It's an urban, urban craftsman. Uh, we kept a lot of the old details uh, that we tried to think of the style when our original house was built in the 1920s, um, the, the cabinet style, the kitchen style, and just updated a little bit. Uh, the kitchen is probably my favorite part of the house. Um, it's just got this huge island where it, it, everybody comes over. We have a huge family. They all come over. Everybody is here. The nice thing is it kind of feeds into where our fireplace is. So it just the, the family room area just feels like a hearth room. This is probably the best space in the house. We have a downstairs patio that um, we use for dining and we also have a fireplace out there. It's just a really warm space to just have family over. The upstairs patio is more for us. We have a hot tub up there and it's just a really private space to have coffee in the morning and to hang out as a family. I don't know what to call the ceiling in the master bedroom, but uh, Dave and I, when we have been on vacations in the past, we love Hawaii. And we always thought, you know, we just wanted to create a master bedroom that felt like we were actually on vacation. It's one of those spaces that you wake up and you truly feel like you're just on, you're in your own oasis. Oh, the master bath is really neat. We have our community space, kind of, with the shower, and then Dave has his space, and then I kind of have my space tucked away with my closet and a bathtub, and then there's access out to the patio. For both of us, it's just a really, kind of another vacation spot for us. We love the tall ceilings in our basements. Um, we were able to maintain a concrete floor and just stain it, and we were able to put heat in the floor. The nice thing about this entire house is it, we don't have any forced air. We have um, radiant heat throughout the entire house and that saves us money. The attic is our kind of rec space. The girls, they actually use it as their homework space. They're hanging out with friends and their art space. There's a little art area. Um, my husband and I use it as our kind of spa space. We were able to create kind of a Pilates room and exercise area with also a, a sauna in there. So that's our getaway space up there for just health reasons. Uh, my husband David is an architect. He designed the home and he basically described his experience with the city of Littleton as the, the easiest city he deals with in the metro area and just very easy and pleasant to work with. The whole experience was great. Oh, it's a wonderful place to raise kids. We're so close to everything downtown with everything going on um, in the summertime with the festivals that they have with Western Welcome Week. You know, the, the fact that we could be more pedestrian and walk more as a family and be able to take the light rail down to sports events because we love to do that. Um, that was pretty much number one for us. This was a double lot with the neighbors and I had a garage here. We scraped the garage, we scraped trees, everything, for fresh new start. This house has about 3,200 square feet total. It's kind of a combination, a little bit craftsman, a little bit American farmhouse, French country. It's just kind of bits and pieces of a lot of things. This house consists of three bedrooms, but there is a seating area off the master that could be easily changed into a fourth bedroom if you wanted. Um, and there is a carriage house over the garage for rental income or mother-in-law suite. On the first floor, there's a full bath and one bedroom. Upstairs, there's a full bath for the guest room. Um, and I have a large master suite with a retreat. And um, boy, that, that bedroom's huge. I love it. The kitchen is gourmet. It functions very well. I love to bake and cook. It's my, one of my passions. So I love working in my kitchen. It, it turned out even better than I had hoped for. My son's girlfriend is a chef and she helped me set it up. I only moved a few things, <laughs> but I, I just love the house. I didn't want a garage sitting in front of the house. I wanted these French doors and the big windows to be the focus. And it is really handy coming in the garage uh, from the alley. And you know, I, it just makes the front of the house cleaner. My favorite thing, that's hard to say. I, I love so much about the house. Um, I, I think my favorite thing would be all the light from the big windows. It's, it's just always bright and happy in here. 
Um, as far as getting permits and working with the city, my contractor did most of that. I have been in touch with them a great deal about the landscaping, what I could and couldn't put in, and um, I, I just had no problems with the city of Littleton at all. Uh, as far as my builder goes, all the permits were on time. Uh, we finished the house actually a month early, and I think part of that was because of the great city we have. Lots of people told me I was crazy to do this. Um, 62 years old, recently divorced, starting totally from scratch, and uh, they, they told me, oh, just go buy a little townhouse, you'll be fine. But that's not what I wanted, I wanted this. <laughs> it's just a quiet, homey feeling here in this neighborhood. The, the neighbors on either side I met right away, a couple behind me in the alley, and they, they just come over. and, and I felt welcome as soon as I moved in here. I decided to build this house rather than buy something because I wanted it to be all mine and I wanted to prove that I could do something like this. The main reason though is Littleton. I love downtown Littleton. It takes me less than 10 minutes to walk there. Um, all the shops, there are more and more restaurants going in and I think this is the next wash park and I wanted to be in on the ground floor of it. What drew us to Old Littleton was we came out to visit Colorado as we were moving here and our realtor drove us through downtown Littleton as the sun was setting over the mountains and I saw the melting pot at the end of the street and I said, I want to live in this neighborhood. And so we just scoured the streets and waited and made an offer on one house that we didn't get. And, and well, we also really liked the old house bungalow feel. That was what we wanted. It wasn't just the melting pot, <laughs> although that was a selling point. <laughs> well, when we first bought it, bought it, it was just three bedrooms and one bath on the main floor, kind of uh, 900 square feet or so. It had been a rental, and so it was kind of dumpy, pretty dumpy. They had vinyl siding, they had a lot of uh, heavy texture on the walls that we didn't like, and just kind of bland. But it had the old house feel to it that drew us to the neighborhood. We wanted the old house feel. After living in it for the time we've been here and having kids, we decided that we should make it bigger. And by making it bigger, we've added a second floor. So now we have uh, five bedrooms and three and a half baths. And then I guess another bedroom in the basement. So. So we've done an addition that makes it 2,400 square feet. So the original house was built in 1923 and it was a craftsman style bungalow. Um, so we tried to keep that integrity intact, but modernize it, of course. Yeah, we wanted that modern bungalow feel. Yeah. Up but we you. love old houses with like being able to do bold colors or just some things we can mix in. I feel like with the old and the new, being able to mix the two of those together. My favorite room in the whole place is probably the master bath. I think that it has enough class and um, pinache that it, it shows really well, but it's also real functional for us. And I think it's timeless in how we did it. My favorite room in the house would be our kitchen because that's where we are as a family of five. and. We love to have people over and just feeling like a week doesn't go by that at least a few people don't stop by for a meal or coffee or just hang out and just having that space that people can come and be welcome into has been really fun because we love to entertain and just the memories of, you know, our kids are really little now and it's fun to dream that, you know, we'll watch them grow up in this kitchen and see them tell us stories about their days at school or sports and just create memories here. As a builder, I think the city of Littleton um, is one of the easiest for us to work in. We've worked in a lot of the metropolitan area uh, building departments and, and the process here is smooth, uh, the staff is friendly, everybody here is, is helpful, where I think some of the jurisdictions we've worked in, it's, it's confusing or complicated. They don't have as, as clean or streamlined a process, so we really appreciate that, that department a lot and, and makes you know, all this a lot easier. So. The neighborhood for us is probably a, the big selling point and one of the reasons or the primary reason is our neighbors, the people. 
Yeah, we really love living here and the stage of life room with little kids because we have an indoor pool really close. You have the Littleton Farm and Museum and the library and the parks and the Platte Trail. We spend a ton of time on the Platte Trail and just be able to even walk to stores and shops and it's really fun to kind of yeah, give our kids a chance where, to see the world from a walking perspective and not have to always be in a car.